The next time you visit a pharmacy or a drugstore, make sure to check this sign on the product you're buying. Now, immediately you see this sign on it, do not purchase it, you know, do not get the product, okay? Now, I know you'll be wondering why I'm saying all this. Yes, I am going to tell you why. You know, I'm recording this video between the hours of 4 to 5 a.m. And, you know, I received a vision from the Lord three days ago. But since then, I haven't been myself. And the main reason why I haven't been able to share um, this vision with you is that I needed some confirmation from the Lord. I needed to seek discernment from the Lord. So um, it is just this dawn that I got what I needed. I got all the information I needed from the Lord after I had finished praying. So I just woke up and I said, just let me make a video of this because, you know, I feel the urgency that this could be even already on the market that we do not know. So it's important that I share with you so that you can also, you know, take the precautions of getting to know what the Antichrist or the devil is bringing out. We already know that the Antichrist have already, you know, began his work and we need to be careful with how he's going to manipulate the world, okay? Now, uh, this is what the Lord said, and I'm going to say exactly what he told me. And it's because I just didn't want to take or add anything to the Lord's word. That is why I wrote some of the things down um, based on how it was said, okay? So I'm not going to waste much time. I'm just going to go straight forward and then tell you what was said. Now, this uh, product that is going to be on the market that they are going to release is coming from the health sector, okay? And this is how it's going to be. A very big, well-known pharmaceutical service is going to sign a deal with the devil and they are going to bring out this product. And you know, this product will serve only one purpose. And the purpose of this product is that it is actually going to, you know, boost the memory, okay? It is going to boost the memory of people. And um, there's going to be a sign on the product after it has been launched, okay? Uh, there's going to be a, a, a symbol on the label of the product that is going to have a spiritual connection with the devil. The moment you find that symbol on the product, you should know that, this product has a spiritual, you know, connection with the devil. And, um, you know, anyone that takes it in is going to be manipulated, is going to be trapped. So this product is going to be on the shelves of so many uh, drugstores and pharmacies. And it is going to be very popular because um, based on what the Lord said, there is actually going to be a time just in a short moment, you know, I felt within me that this is not something that is going to really take long. I don't know whether it's going to be this year. God didn't give me any time. Okay. But I felt within me that it is going to take place in a short while. And this is what the Lord said, that they are going to release a powerful oxidant that is going to pollute the airways. Okay, they are going to release a powerful oxidant that is going to, you know, irritate the air that we breathe in. And, you know, once this happens, it is actually going to have effects on humans. Okay, and, um, you know, what, what was said is that this effect is not going to be too severe. You know, it's not going to be too severe for people to uh, recognize early it is not going to be severe like, you know, the COVID-19 where people will be coughing and not being able to breathe and be suffocating just like, you know, the COVID. No, this is not going to be like that. This is going to, you know, the symptoms of this is just going to be like a normal, you know, fever. Though people will be coughing, but it wouldn't be too severe. Uh, people will be feeling feverish and all that. And it is not going to make people feel like this is something serious that I need to go to the hospital to, you know, um, seek treatment and all that. Okay. So 
it is going to deceive people into believing that they're having some sort of, you know, mild fever. And once this happened, it wouldn't allow them to go to the hospital to seek treatment. But inside or inwardly of them, this polluted, poisonous that has been released in the air will be damaging the cells and the brains of people. Okay. It's a, it's going to be gradual. So once, you know, it eats you up within your system, you begin to forget everything. You're going to forget about everything and it's going to be hard for you to remember something that you just did the very minute that passed. Okay. So, so many people will lose their memory once the air is polluted. And, uh, you know, this is going to affect a lot of people. Okay. Because like I said, it's not going to have any strange symptoms on you, which will, you know, make you go to the hospital to seek for treatment. So you're just going to think it's just some little fever and, and you're just going to get some over the counter medicines to treat it. Now, once you treat it, it is going to slow down, but do not forget that inwardly inside you, once you have already absorbed or taken in this poisonous substance in the air, it is going to enter your brain and then it is going to eat up your brain and it is going to make you lose your memory. Okay. It's going to make you lose your memory gradually. So it will eat you up to the extent that you do something this minute and the next minute you forget about it. Okay. And that is when there will be the rise of demand for this poisonous food that, that I'm talking about that you're going to launch. Okay. Because it is going to serve as the only medicine or the only product that will be able to boost your memory for you to remember what you did the previous minute. Okay. And it is going to be very well known and popular, but people will not know that this particular medicine that is serving as a memory booster uh, is having a spiritual connection with the devil. So this is what the Lord showed me that there's going to be a symbol. I tried to make a sketch of it so that you can see it. And then uh, and the Lord said, I should show this to his people so that immediately you see this on any medicine or any product you buy from the pharmacy. You need to know that this is not from the Lord. This has nothing to do with the Lord, but it's coming from the devil. They're trying to manipulate people. And once you take in this product, you're going to be trapped thinking that, you know, you, you're going to boost your memory. And, you know, one thing is that once you take it, your memory is going to work again. Okay. You, like, you know, they're trying to do that so that people will get to believe in the product. Once you take it, your memory is going to get back to the normal state where you can, you know, remember stuff like that. However, spiritually, you're going to be trapped. And this is actually going to, uh, you know, be against your faith. Okay, this is actually going to have a very deadly manipulation on your faith. And I'm going to discuss that the next minute. Okay, so I just tried to make a sketch and this is it. I don't know if you can see it. This this is a sketch that I made. You see how the symbol, this is actually like a cross that has been turned upside down. Okay, I don't know if I can get a clear illustration of it on the internet, but um, let me check and see. Okay, let me see. Uh, a cross turned upside down. Let me see. Okay, so this is it. This is it. Um, this is something similar that the Lord showed me. And uh, I, ho I hope you can see it. Okay, so this will be, it's not going to be big on the label. Okay, it's just going to be something small. It's going to be a very small symbol on the label of the product. So you need to check it out. When you go to the chemist, when you go to um, the pharmacy and you want to purchase any product, you know, you need to pick the product and examine and just check the label to see if you're going to see this because they're going to hide it. They're going to make it very small. And then, you know, a lot of people will not, you know, think about it. A lot of people are going to lose their memory, including children, including adults, men, women, whoever, because once this oxidant is being released into the air, it's going to spread worldwide. And, you know, this is not going to be limited to one nation. It's going to spread worldwide. And once you step out of your door and you inhale this into you, 
like I said, it's just going to be mild symptoms like fever. So, you know, you're not going to feel like you need to go to the hospital. We always experience fever and then most people think it's not always necessary to go to the hospital because of fever, because you can get over-the-counter medicine to treat it. So you're going to get over-the-counter medicine to treat your fever, and then it is going to cool down. Then you get back to your normal duties. You get back to work, and then you think everything is gone. But inwardly, it is going to eat you up, and then it is going to make you lose your memory. And once this starts coming up, that is when the dangers start rising up. So you would actually need to go to the pharmacy this time around to look for a memory booster. And then that is when they're going to introduce this deadly medicine to you. Okay. I don't know the name. God didn't give me the name of the product, but he only gave me the sign or the symbol that is going to be on the label. Okay. And you know, after all this was shown to me, I became very worried and I was totally broken. I got scared because I was thinking that is this going to be an other outbreak or another pandemic that is going to, you know, uh, rise. And sincerely, I was really down and I prayed to the Lord. That is why I said after this vision was given to me three days ago, I wasn't able to say anything about it because I needed much information. So I kept praying and then, you know, the Lord sent the Holy Spirit to descend this to me that, you know, when this begin to manifest, there's going to be an exception. Okay. The Lord gave me hope because I can't imagine myself and my family, you know, going through all this, going to lose our memory. It's as such, it's really going to be terrible because based on what I was shown, Immediately you do something, just write this very minute, the next minute you're going to forget about it. People are going to forget about your names. People are going to forget about, you know, their relatives. You, you can be with your wife and then you're going to forget who she is. You can be with your children and you're going to forget about who your children are. You're going to see them as strangers. You're going to actually forget anything that is important around you. And this is going to be serious. And, you know, I, I had a picture of like, People are going to act like mad people because they wouldn't be acting normally. They, they will, they, it's going to be so strange. So, you know, I was really scared. And then the Lord gave me hope. Okay. This time the Lord uh, brought hope to me and said, there's going to be an exception to this. And with this exception is that his children will not be harmed. His children will not be harmed. That is what the Lord said, that his children will not be harmed. This came um, three times. His children will not be harmed. His children will not be harmed. His children will not be harmed. And after this was said, the Lord drew my mind to a message from the Bible, and that was the answer I got. Now let's take a look at Mark chapter 16, verse 18. Now the Bible says that if they pick up snakes or drink any poison, they will not be harmed. They will place their hands on people and these will get well. Okay. So after he said his children will not be harmed. And then he gave me this message that even when they take in poison, they will not be harmed. Also, the moment they pollute the air or the atmosphere with this poisonous substance, if you are a child of God, it is not going to have any effect on you. This is what the Lord said, and this is what the Lord promised, that his children will not be harmed. So whatever poisonous that they are going to release into the atmosphere to damage the brains of people, they are not going to be harmed. Okay? Now, I want to ask you that, are you a child of God? Because it is obvious that we have Christians and then we have children of God. Not every Christian is a child of God. So this is what we need to take a critical look at. Many people are deceived that they are Christians, but yet they are not a child of God. Now I'm going to tell you who a child of God is, and then you need to ask yourself these same questions that if you are a child of God, do you have the Holy Spirit in you? There's only those that have the Holy Spirit in them that will not be harmed. This is what I received from the discernment of what the Lord said that his children will not be harmed. Now, who are his children? His children are those that have received salvation in the Lord Jesus Christ. His children are those that have created a boundary between the dark world 
and themselves, okay? They are no longer going into the world of darkness, but they are going to remain with the light of the world, which is Jesus Christ. So once you have come out of your sins, sought for repentance, sought for salvation in our Lord Jesus Christ, and have received the Holy Spirit in you, you are seen as the child of God. Now, if you have all these, God is saying that there is no way this poisonous product or this poisonous substance they are going to release into the atmosphere is going to have any effect on you. Okay, so if you are a Christian and you are still living in the world of darkness, you are no longer a child of God. If you call yourself a Christian and you are still living in sin, unrepented, you have an unrepentant heart, you are not a child of God. If you are someone that have sought for uh, forgiveness and have received salvation, it doesn't end there. You need to have the Holy Spirit in you. You need to receive the Holy Spirit baptism. It's simple to receive Holy Spirit baptism. All you need to do is to pray to the Lord and invite the Holy Spirit to come and live in you. Okay? It's just as simple as that. Once you invite the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will come and live in you and you will be baptized. Okay? After you have received the water baptism, you need to also receive the Holy Spirit baptism. And this will fully certify you as the child of God. Okay. You can receive salvation, but yet not have the Holy Spirit in you. So it's, it's, it's one thing receiving salvation and it's another thing having the Holy Spirit come to live in you. There are a lot of people that have received salvation, but are not baptized by the Holy Spirit. And we need to take a look at it. If you have received salvation, make sure that you welcome the Holy Spirit to come and live in you. Make sure you are baptized by the Holy Spirit. You can stay in your room and invite the Holy Spirit to come into you. All you need to do is to pray to the Lord. Now, the most important thing is that the Lord needs to see some seriousness in you. He wants to know how eager or how you're yearning to receive the Holy Spirit. You need to open your heart you need to set up your mind, everything up on the Holy Spirit and make sure that you are ready to receive the Holy Spirit. And immediately God finds out that, no, this is my son, this is my daughter, is ready for the Holy Spirit. Immediately he's going to send the Holy Spirit to come upon you. And there are a lot of signs that will prove that you have the Holy Spirit. I'm going to make a video on that later on. There are certain things you're going to witness on you that will make you know or confirm that you have the Holy Spirit in you. Okay, so it is very important if you are a Christian and you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, you need to make sure that you have that. So in these times, we only have a limited time to do this. If you're watching me and then you are still living in the world of darkness, you need to quickly come out of it. Find Jesus as soon as possible. Pray to him to seek for forgiveness. Seek salvation in him and begin to have a solid relationship with him. Begin to have a very firm relationship. Let this relationship surpass any other relationship you have with anybody have a full concentration of jesus christ and have a personal relationship with him immediately you have a personal relationship with him the desire to have the holy spirit will come out of you and then you are going to receive the holy spirit in you now once you are able to do all this you don't have to be afraid that is the hope that the lord gave me that his children are those that have sought for forgiveness have sought for salvation, and have also sought for the Holy Spirit baptism. If you are able to do these three things, then you do not have to worry about anything. But those that do not have all this, they are going to be trapped by the devil, and they are going to be harmed by the poisonous substance that will be released into the atmosphere. So we need to take serious note of this. I want you to share this video to so many people so that they can be aware of what the Antichrist or the devil is planning to do. Do not joke with this message. I want you to also seek discernment. Take this to the Lord. Pray about it. Like I always say, it doesn't mean that this vision is coming from me, so you need to accept or believe it. Make sure you test the spirit. Take this message to the Lord, because even after I had received this message, after, even after I've received this vision, I prayed over it. I took it to the Lord for discernment. Okay, so you also need to do the same. Don't just believe it. Make sure you pray over it. Let God give you, probably God is even going to give you a more or a clear understanding that he gave me. 
you know, I'm not too special to receive this vision from the Lord. Okay. So just like he had mercy on me to give me this vision, he's going to have mercy on you to also give you a discernment of this message. Okay. And don't sit on this message. Share it with your families because immediately this product comes out, people are going to barge into the pharmacies and the drugstores to grab it because that is going to be the only medicine that will be able to boost the memories of people because there are going to be a whole lot of testimonies that will come out from the uh, you know the product people are going to take it and they will regain their memories back and once they regain their memories back you know they are going to spread the message that wow well, what this medicine and it was good for me so you can also try it out and that is how it's going to spread they are not going to run adverts it is the people that are going to run advert for them because immediately they take it the medicine is going to work like magic immediately they take it in they are going to receive instant recovery of their memory and you know this will make a lot of people go into it to get it so Please share this video out there. Let people be aware that this is what is going to come in the near future. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I feel within me that this can take place any moment. It could be this year, it could be next year. So don't just sit on the message. Just spread the message out with your friends and family so that they can get it. And then also try to talk to people to seek repentance, to seek Jesus for salvation. It is our responsibilities as Christians to share the gospel with people. Let them know that immediately they have received salvation and have invited the Holy Spirit to come and live in them. They will not be harmed. They will become the children of God and they will not be harmed. So God is going to protect his children. If you have the Holy Spirit in you, there is nothing that is like poisonous that is going to come upon you. That is why when we read the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 18, if you have the Holy Spirit in you, you can pick up snakes or drink any poison or inhale any poison and you will never be harmed. This is coming from the word of God. And once you have the Holy Spirit in you, you would even be able to place your hands on sick people and they will be healed. You see, these are some of the benefits of the Holy Spirit that you need to know. So I'm going to leave this verse to you and you can read it and then get to know and understand the benefits of the Holy Spirit. This was an assurance that Jesus gave to his people that once they believe, all you need to do is to believe. You need to believe in Jesus Christ, that he is the son of God who came into the world to die for us. And that, that forms the process of getting salvation. If you really want to receive salvation in our Lord Jesus Christ, all you need is to believe in Jesus Christ. Believe that he is the son of God. Believe that he came to die for our sins. And you have a relationship with him. And once you have a relationship with him and you believe that he's your Lord and personal savior, you have received salvation. Okay. And afterwards, the Holy Spirit will be able to come and live in you. So create a space within you for the Holy Spirit. There are Christians who are still having hatred in them. If you have hatred in you, you cannot receive the Holy Spirit in you. There are Christians who are still having a bad mindset, a morious mind, and then they have negative thoughts in them. Take away everything negative in you. Create a space in you before the Holy Spirit can come and live in you. If your heart is filled with evil, there is no way the Holy Spirit can come and live in you. So clean up your system by taking out every negative thing in you and open up for the Lord so that the Holy Spirit can come and live in you. All right, thank you very much. And please do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to like this video. Like this video because uh, one thing about uh, you know YouTube is that if you really want this video to reach out to a lot of people, all you need to do is to like the video. And once you like the video, the algorithm will get to know that people are interested in the video and then it is going to push it to a larger audience so that people will receive this important message that the Lord has brought. All right. Thank you very much and be blessed.